I'm Marianna Hewitt from Maximo TV. We're here in Las Vegas at the first American Country Awards on Fox. Let's see what country's biggest stars have to say to us. I listen to your music forever and I've, I've always loved you. What made you transition into country music? I've always written country songs. It was just a real part of why I started writing. I listened to a lot of country music growing up and a lot of folk singers. I liked singer-songwriters. So I had a real blend and I never could get my label to support me at country radio. So I had to finally get off that label and I just felt the country was going to be the home for me. I'd really love to be able to write a storytelling song and be around fans that really care about that. And what was it like for both of you being involved in reality TV? Did you guys like that? It was fun. It's an experience. Um, you know, I felt like it got a, a, a lot of, it brought a lot of recognition to the sport of professional bull riding and the PBR uh, for me, and, and that's great because I feel like it's a, it's a great sport that, that the world needs to know about, and, and we'll keep trying to push that ball up the hill. And what's going on with you right now? What are you working on? I have an album out right now called Sweet and Wild, and um, that's it. We're just here. We're presenting an award tonight, and uh, I got nominated tonight, so we'll see how that goes. Um, so what inspires your music? Because since you guys got together, has it been changing a lot? Well, I mean, I write songs for Ty, for sure. Um, but people always ask us that why I started writing country, and that isn't. I started writing that way before him. <laughs> we are the, the band, band Perry. Yep. So good to be in Vegas. I know. So we are in Vegas. What's your favorite activities to do while you're here? Um, well, for us, we've been doing a lot of sleeping uh, when we're not rehearsing. Vegas? Yes, yeah. because uh, we're performing on the show tonight, so we've been doing lots of dress rehearsals. But, but we even were here if, for vacation. Even if I wanted to do something, I couldn't because I'm only 20. Oh, no. Under yeah. so. He's got a long time to be legal, so Reed and I so have all the fun the in Vegas. So we just take the money he'll gamble with and just use it for ourselves. So. And what's it like to be in a group with your sibling? Well, we're all in our 20s now, so we've just kind of changed the phrases to fit the need. So we call them discussions, not, not disagreements. Yeah. It's a more adult word. Yes, and uh, we, we've learned to give each other space on the road. Um, and it's, it's really wonderful to be out with folks that know each other like the back of our hand. It's yeah. really amazing. And is your other family members, your parents or anything, come along on the road with you? You know, our Mother? mom does. She uh, sometimes has to play referee or alarm clock She has her times. own whistle. And yeah, just... so she keeps us in line. What are you guys most looking forward to tonight? The performances. Yeah, it's always our favorite part of award shows. Love them during rehearsal, so it'll be great to see the rest. So it'll be a good show. Yes. And so, who are some of your favorite artists here? Uh, well, Reba's here. She's one of our she all-time favorites. favorites. And we're performing tonight, and she's sitting like dead center. And I'm just like, how do you look at Reba when you're performing on stage? She's I, I just amazing. So, mu so much fun is Blake Shelton. Yeah, yeah. he is yeah. so yeah. much fun. Well. I love him. So it's going to be a great night with all the artists. What's better for you? You like singing, acting, Broadway? I like entertaining people, so I like doing it all. Yeah. You know, I mean, I, I like I like telling stories through music. Yeah. You know, so if I can if I can do it all while I'm singing a song or writing a song, that that's probably my favorite. What are you most looking forward to tonight? Well, um, I don't know. I'm, I'm sort of, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing my friends. That's always yeah. what it's about for me. Yeah, seeing people and seeing them perform and having a good time. I'm looking forward to being entertained. Oh, so what are you working on right now? I'm doing a new record, and um, I'm on How I Met Your Mother, the television show. So I'm working on that, and um, I have. Uh, a sketch comedy show called Cooter County that I do. Um, it's on YouTube. Yeah. It's uh, Cooter County on YouTube, and we're working on you know developing that. So it's been really fun. It's on YouTube right now. So what what kind of sketches do you do on there? It's basically I play a bunch of characters that all live in a, one small southern town of Cooter County, Kentucky, which is an imaginary town I made up. And uh, we have like the Real Housewives of Cooter County. No. We do. Um, we have a Christmas special coming out. I I play an old lady named You Need a Biscuit and. <laughs> I do interviews and it's just silly stuff. It's fun. Would you consider yourself to be a comedian? Um, I don't know. I mean, I guess so. Maybe. What are you most looking forward to in 2011? You know what? First of all, the, the most important thing I'm looking forward to is a really good operation. I get my heart operated on in the third week of January and, and, and good health. Obviously, uh, I love my family, being a good dad. And But most importantly, too, is I'm ready to get back feeling great again. I got to tell you, I'm running about 80 percent and I want to feel 100 percent again. And it's you realize life goes in perspective real quick of how important your health is, because I I spent a lot of years on the road having a great time partying and having fun. And I want to continue doing that, but I just want to, I'm ready to get back and feel right. What advice can you give young rock stars so that they don't experience these same health problems? Here, here's the thing. You can't, what happened to me, you, there's, there's no way of knowing. I mean, I, I got, it just, you know, when you, I've, I've been a diabetic my whole life, you know, and, and I say this to rock stars, live your life 
have a great time, enjoy yourself. And, and I'm not sure what, what happened when it caused the brain hemorrhage and all that stuff. But here's the thing, man, enjoy what you're doing, love it, live in the moment and, and be great to the people around you. Because, you know, like I said, I've always felt I've lived like that. But every once in a while, man, it just, when that hits you, it puts life in perspective. I've got two beautiful daughters and a beautiful girlfriend and I'm, I feel blessed. Your album's gonna come out next year. What can we expect on it? Um, you know, I feel like my album has so many different perspectives and so many different angles. There's some that's really, some songs that are really based on revenge and getting back at people and just, you know, oh, you did me wrong and I'm going to get back at you. But then really there's a positive note throughout the entire album. And I think um, optimism is a big kind of theme of my life and something that I always try to look to. Um, so I try to make my songs uplifting and, and in some way uh, kind of, not motivational, but uh, but just so that people know that they're not alone, you know, kind of universal, I'd say, is the word for it. So that's what I hope is the, the common thread throughout my album. And do you write a lot of your own music? Yeah, I do. I think it's so important because you can definitely lend your own particular angle, you know. And, and of course, I love outside cuts as well and songs from other people because there's so many talented writers out there. But, um, but I'm happy to have a few songs that have been co-written by me. Cause and a lot of the music that you write, do you think it relates to people your age or is it maybe for a little bit older? You know, I think, uh, I, I hope that it, it can apply to pretty much any age because I feel like the messages in my songs aren't particularly pinned down to like, you know, you have to be in this age range or this demographic to really get it. Um, so that's what I'm hoping for. But I think there, there will be some songs that will apply to different ages for sure. And if you could collaborate with any artist, who would it be? Oh, goodness. Well, I got to write two songs with Lady Annabellum, with Charles and Dave of Lady Annabellum. So that was wild, just sitting around Charles's living room and be like, oh, my word, I'm sitting here with Lady A. Gosh. Um, but if I ever got to sing a song with Keith Urban, I might I might just not make it. I might just not make it. Um, and I may have a little, uh, a little work going on with Jay DeMarcus of Rascal Flats, but I'm not going to say too much. But... Uh, that's coming soon. What are some of your favorite artists? Um, well, today I'm excited to see the Flats and Rascal Flats. Oh, they're so good. And I saw Alan Jackson rehearsing yesterday, and he sounded amazing. Um, so I'm really excited to see him. And I'm presenting to the band Perry, so I love their song if I die young, so it'll be good to see them. What's it like performing and being all the time with your significant other? <laughs> That's a cool question. <laughs> um, it is, you know, it has its moments. I think that, you know, at the end of the day, we really like each other and get along. So yeah. that's um, good. Yeah. And that's and that's it's nice to like your boyfriend. Yeah, that I helps. Mean, uh, th you know, and, and it's nice to have somebody to, to experience everything that we go through with. And, and just the schedule is real hectic and everything. So usually when, when one of us is up, the other one, if one of us is down, the other one is up and, and we can kind of pick up where each of us leave off and stuff like that so I think it's it's a good thing and and we're really uh, we're grateful I think for the whole experience so what are some of your favorite things to do while you're in Vegas oh man uh, Josh likes to play poker I'm a I like blackjack so yeah I, I was up last night about 200 bucks at Hold'em uh -huh. and then I lost it all this morning <laughs> but I lost all my winnings so, so that's not bad. at least I'm up six bucks so I could buy breakfast I like this jacket you're wearing today. Well, thank you. Thank it's you. very Vegas. <laughs> so congratulations on all your nominations yeah, tonight. Yeah. Oh, thank you. What are you most looking forward to? Oh, just uh, being able to go out there and perform. Yeah. You know, that, that's when, uh, you know, all the, the people in attendance and all the, you know, people sitting at home watching it on TV get to see my heart and, and hear my heart and uh, see what I'm all about. So. Are you currently touring right now? Uh, I have been all year, uh, but this tonight is actually uh, the last thing I have for the year, so <laughs> I get to rest a little while. <laughs> what are some of your favorite things to do on your downtime on tour? Oh, we uh, you, we used to play basketball on a pretty regular basis, but uh, we've had a few sprained ankles and some hurt, uh, you know, arms and shoulders and necks and all that kind of stuff. So we kind of had to, uh, you know, lay low for a little while. But uh, we uh, we like to get out and kind of see the sights, you know, depending on where we are. There's a lot of great places throughout this country. So congratulations on all your nominations. What's it like to be nominated for so many awards? Oh, it's so overwhelming, and it's such a cool feeling because you know this is fan voted, and and uh, to thank that they've they thought enough of my music and what I do to, to put me here and nominate me for, for those awards. Uh, it's, a, it's a great honor. What are you most looking forward to tonight besides uh, winning? Well, 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 just getting up there and performing tonight, we're going to do that. And uh, so I'm really looking forward to that and seeing a lot of people I don't get to see very often. What are you working on right now? Uh, we're just out. Uh, I'm doing a lot of writing right now and, and playing for as many people as possible, whoever will listen to me. we got a new record that uh, we're just going to the studio with right now that should be out probably in the middle of next year. But before that, we actually have a Greatest Hits coming out January 28th. So uh, The Shape I'm In will be on there. That's our new single. And uh, Give Me That Girl, Girl, of course, our most recent number one. So uh, it's, it's going to be a cool, cool uh, time next year. We're looking forward to a really busy and productive year. What kind of music can we expect on your next album? 
A lot of fun. Mm -hmm. You get a lot of fun songs. You know, I've been uh, searching high and low for uh, for just a good vibe. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, records past, we've had a good vibe and we've had a not so good vibe sometimes. Sometimes it's been a lot of deep stuff. You know, uh, but uh, and we'll still get there. But I think this record's going to be a lot of fun. The song that's beautiful to me. What inspired that? Um, a, you know, a, a real life situation. I mean, I, I found that as I was thinking about my ex-girlfriend, later on I started thinking that all the things that I really missed the most about her, that I found the most beautiful, were the things that I found to be annoying while I was in the relationship. And I realized that had I maybe stuck around longer, you, you realize that those, you know, in the re in relationship, those kind of things like the fact that she says, honey, give me roses, but don't buy red. You know, she needs 46 pillows all over the bed. It's like, it's annoying, but you go, it, that's her, I love her, you know. So what are some things on your iPod that you're listening to right now? Ooh, on the iPod, I listen to everything from literally Billy Joel to Black Eyed Peas to Metallica uh -huh. to Delamitri to Michael Bublé to Blake Shelton uh -huh. to uh, everything. I mean, literally, it just, I mean, anything. Whatever pops up, I have 80,000 songs. And if you could collaborate with any of them, who, who would it be? If I could collaborate with one person, I'd like to collaborate with Billy Joel. I would just love to just have one writing session with him. But probably the Billy Joel back when he was drinking. Yeah, That'd be a little bit more fun. I don't know if he's not so fun now, but it'd probably be a lot more fun back then. Maybe I can get him to fall off the wagon. It'd be a good song title. I love your dress. Who makes Thank that? Thank you. This is Sherry Hill. Uh, yeah. Sorry, she's amazing. She makes all the Miss USA dresses. Yeah. And she sends all my dresses to me, and then Gypsy Soul do all my jewelry. So. I love it. Can I see your jewelry, too? Can you do a little fashion spin for us? Yes. <laughs> awesome. So what's going on with you right now? Okay, well I just moved here to the USA yeah. this year and um, so I'm from Australia as you can tell by the accent. Um, I've had five number ones there and then um, got a deal here a year and a half ago and had a song out last year. Um, was top 20 on CMT and did really well. So now I'm just working on some new music and I mean they were like, do you want to come to the Fox Awards in Vegas? They said there'd be hot cowboys, country music singers. I was like, well, I'm yeah. in, count me in. So yeah, it's going to be a great night. I'm not performing tonight. I'm just watching and supporting all the other artists and hanging out in Vegas. Um, so where did you move to in the state? I live in Nashville. Oh, yes, yes. It's beautiful there and um, I mean, it's just getting cold and I'm going home to summer. I'm going home next week to do an Australian tour, so that'll be nice. I'll, I'll leave the winter with you guys and I'll go home and lay on the beach and I'll send photos for you and be like, hey, look, I'm hot, you're cold. Uh, and uh, what music do you have coming up? Do you have a new album or anything? I do. I have a new single coming out here probably in February next year. So, yes, just went into the studio last week and, and did four new tracks, so That's very cool. exciting. What kind of music is it? Is it more upbeat? or? Uh, um, it's it's cool. I mean, it's cool country music. All country music's cool, but um, I guess it's kind of like a almost sort of a girl Garth Brooks style, but like a new modern version. So, I mean, I came from a rodeo family. My dad's a world champion bull rider, and I've rodeoed my whole life. So, um, I don't always get to wear these pretty dresses. Normally, I have my jeans and boots and and stuff on. So, but it'll be good. I mean, I'm really looking forward to getting out and touring over here and and making up some new music. Thank you. Uh, you're welcome. Uh, you're welcome. Right. Carrie, who are you wearing? Shoulder, boring style. There we go. Can you show me the front a little more? Beautiful, Hillary. You look gorgeous. And just like that. Thank you, darling. Thanks a lot. Look back, Hillary. Look back. Look back, darling. Over the shoulder. Beautiful. Thank you, darling.